Welcome back, everyone, to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. This, I will tell you a little bit behind the scenes here. This is my third attempt at this video. I recorded it once. It didn't work out. The video looked bad. I actually released it yesterday. Shooting it again. Shot it again this morning. Guess what? Audio failed. Now we're on th try number three. But we're going to try and get the energy up because, hey, you don't know it's the third try because I didn't. if I hadn't told you that, you wouldn't have known it. So here we go. We're talking about stable coins. We're talking about Coinbase. We're talking about Binance. So it's a lot going on. March 13th is the date. I will share my screen in a moment. But before I get to that, I need to talk about stuff I always forget get to talk about. Sometimes I forget totally, but sometimes I leave it to the end. And that's not good. But the right to be onset, I want to ask you to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you like this kind of content, please share it. Please help me get the word out. The entire point of me making this video, I don't make anything from YouTube. Okay, let's be really clear. I make nothing from YouTube. I probably have like 50 bucks that they owe me, and I'll worry about that at some point. But for the most part, yeah, they're monetized, but you wouldn't believe how little they give you. So it really doesn't matter to me. Like To me, this is about getting the message out and allowing you to know who I am and to contact me for further business later on down the road. Maybe my Patreon, which we'll talk about in a minute, or other things. But for the most part, these videos are free and they're out there for you guys to share and like, first off, validate. I know what I'm talking about. If you don't think that's true, ask me a question, help me to validate this. But if you like the message, if you think I know what I'm talking about, please share it with other people that need to hear this message. Okay. They need to learn about CBDCs. They need to learn about crypto. They need to know about storing it safely in wallets like this from Economic Prepper, which I'll zoom in real close. Woo! Very close. Economic Prepper Ballet Wallet right here. It's available for, at economicpreppersWallet.com. I should have that up here. Um, let's see. Can I edit this? Um, let's see. Let's go economicpreppersWallet.com. There you go. Look at that. I did that. So there it is. It's right there. Mm, yeah, right there. Where the finger economicpreppersWallet.com. You can get one of these. I think they're forty-five bucks. Should be 50 with shipping, but uh, we're, we're taking a little bit of loss. But again, loss leader, you guys need to know who Economic Preppers is. You need to follow us on YouTube, on BitChute, and on Rumble. That's all in the details as well. Plus, ticket across the bottom here is all my show schedules Monday through Thursday come out at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, I might be changing the time. We'll see. Uh, but for right now, that's the schedule. That's the schedule I've pretty much fallen into. Economic Preppers, the show, comes out on YouTube, Rumble, and BitChute. Friday nights at 5 and Eastern. Uh, and these are all these times are Eastern. And our AMAs are usually Wednesday, but we've made some changes on Patreon. First off, we had to increase the price, but we all everybody that's a member knew this was coming. So the price is still $99 for brand new customers. And brand new people want to hear what we have to talk about. And unfortunately, they're not talking about crypto just yet. So, but we're still out there. We're still giving out the message. We're still, uh, you know, we're out there. We're having conversations every other week. Twice a week, we have an AMA, and for the most part, we've held those at Wednesday nights at 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So what we've gone to now, excuse me. All right, too much noise coming from downstairs. Anyway, um, we're moving the, the next AMA to Tuesday, March 6th. I think I got that right. Might be the 7th. Next Tuesday. It says the 7th. All right. Next Tuesday at 7 p.m., March the 7th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. It's a half hour later than usual. Um, I do that to accommodate Patrick. He has a family commitment at 5 from 5 to 5.30. So I give him that window. Then he joins us on the call. And we get to talk about crypto and the, and the economics and the marketplace and prepping and anything else you want to ask Patrick or myself. Uh, and we're there. And we're looking to adjust those times as well. And we record most of it. If there's a sensitive question, we won't record that part. We'll say, save it to the end. We'll say, hey, we're done with the recording. Now we're going to talk about the sensitive stuff. And that's where you can you can ask us anything. You really can. But, you know, doesn't mean we're going to answer everything. It certainly doesn't mean, mean we're going to answer everything on a recording either. So, but that's most everything. Okay, that's, that's the details. Now let's get to the story, which I've been trying to tell you three times already. So let's share my screen. So here we have. Coinbase, okay, and it's, of course the screen is not li lined up right, so let's get that. So Coinbase to suspend. Uh, wow, that's freaking out. 
All right, Coinbase to spend BUSD trading on March 13th. That is Binance USD. That is their version of the stable coin. So that's going to stop on March 13th, which is less than two weeks away. This is a story from wallstreet.com. BUSD, as well as the US under regulatory scrutiny in mid-February when the NYDFS, I'll explain that in a minute, ordered Paxos to stop mining the stablecoin, claiming the company was unable to continue doing so safely. Around the same time, uh, again with a period, that who who does the grammar on these things? Paxos revealed it had received a Wells notice from the SEC alleging that the BS, BUSD is an unregistered security. Going to the other version from Forbes, which has a little bit better. Much. Coinbase drops trouble stablecoin Binance USD. They're delisting it uh, as of March 13th. Exchanges such as Coinbase often list multiple stable coins to provide a variety of trading pairs for clients against various crypto assets. Sometimes, client, sometimes clients trade one stable coin for another. I don't know why you do that. Maybe you would. Yeah, you would do that in certain instances where you need to get it off the exchange to another one. Practice of listing multiple tokens also provides redundancy in that in the case that one token falls out of favor or loses trust. For this reason, a case could be made that BUSD's delisting from Coinbase will be the first of many such the announcements as the token is being retired. On February 13th, the New York Department of Financial Services, that's that NYDFS, NYDFS mentioned earlier, the NYDFS ordered crypto company Paxos to immediately cease minting Binance USD. Follow-up comments issued to Reuters tried to clarify that Paxos, a New York-based trust company that partnered with Binance to provide the token, violated its obligation to conduct tailored periodic risk assessments and due diligence refreshes of Binance and Paxos-issued BUSD customers to prevent bad actors from using the platform. Well, let me drop out of here and just talk to you guys for a minute. This is what I believe. So my, what I believe is happening is that they're demonizing all stable coins. They do not want any stable coins in the marketplace by June, I believe, because by the end of June, the, the US, United States Treasury, CFD, CFTC, SEC, whatever agency is launching it, um, I can't remember. So I think it's the Treasury that's launching the stable coin, the, the central bank digital currency. So it's going to come from the central bank, which will be the Federal Reserve, and they're going to launch in some form a digital dollar. And it could be a digital dollar, it could be Fed coin, Fed now, probably be associated with an app, and it'll probably also be associated with a crisis. It could be inflationary, it could be economic, it could be another type of, a, of crisis where they want to airdrop people money. And here's what I believe will be happening in May or June, gas prices will be higher than usual, of course. Uh, prices will be very high, people will not be wanting to spend, uh, economy will be looking bad. So they're, they're uh, and the people are going to be tight with their, their currency. And I'm going to use currency and money interchangeably as I speak here, just because I'm just trying to talk too fast. Currency is harder to say, but as people get tight with their money and just know that money means currency for the next couple of minutes, as people get tight with their currency, they're not going to want to spend it. So how do you, how does the government go into increased velocity in the, in the economic system to increase spending and getting people to buy stuff and getting commerce to happen? Well, one way to do this is to give them extra currency through an app. So you download an app, you'll be given given this money as if it was stimulus money again. Uh, and all of a sudden, now you have more money to spend on a vacation or quality time with your family or whatever. And I recommend that you do that. I recommend you take some of that money and do that. I really do. Um, but also convert some of this free money into real assets, Bitcoin, crypto, um, strong crypto projects, silver, gold, assets that are going to hold value over time, not the dollar. The dollar is garbage. We get, we've been over that many, many times, and we continue to say it. The dollar is garbage. It's actually the, the, our, our first crypto commandment from the economic preppers. So commandment number one, the dollar is garbage. All fiat currencies eventually die. The, di the dollar is dying. So that's what they're trying to preserve it. But one of the ways they have to preserve it is that to tear down the alternative systems, which is cryptocurrency and stable coins. So that's what's going on. That's what I believe is going on. I welcome your opinions on it. I really like to hear everything that you guys have to say. Anything from like, do you like the ticker? Do you like the new background? Do you like, do you like my hair? I don't care. Whatever you want to say, leave a comment down below. If you made it all the way to the end, give me a hashtag that says nice background or okay. So just hashtag nice background 
Um, and let me know you made it all the way to the end. But I read all the comments. I'm looking forward to shooting another video for the second time next and getting these videos out there to you guys. So you have a video for today and tomorrow. Again, the, the schedule's down here. Be shooting economic preppers Thursday afternoon. Be released on Friday. Probably take the weekend off and relax and have a little bit of personal time and back at it come Monday with more news and more stuff that you need to know about and working on various things for economic preppers. We have a lot to work on next several months, so t stay tuned. Join the, uh, the the Patreon, best way to get a hold of me. Join the Telegram as well. So lots said. I'm going to close the door on the Bureau. Say follow leader one more time, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Yeah.